Hi, can I introduce you to uh, Catherine Clark, who was uh, uh, a member of the class of 2011. Yeah. And what are you doing now? I'm just at Victoria University studying a Bachelor of Business and Events. It's a really good course. It's going really well. Now, you've had this passion for event management for a long time, haven't you? Many, many years, yeah. The ultimate goal is to be a wedding planner in about three or four years' time. So hopefully we'll see what happens after I finish. Okay. You're not going to be a, uh, um, a marriage consultant in the, in the sense of... Uh, <laughs> Being a celebrant as well. Being a celebrant. Hopefully. I've got to see what I can do because there's a course to do that which goes for six months as well. Yes. So I think I'll start that next year sometime. Okay. Mm. There also is a, a distance learning course out of uh, oh. um, the University at Wagga oh, in New that? South Wales. Yes. Is that the one that Pobs did? Yes. Okay. Yeah, he yes. sent me the details for that. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> um, you did hospitality here and did very well in it. Mm-hmm. Um, was that related to your desire for event management? Definitely, because I started doing... I went to do hospitality in year 10, yeah. and then I started working a lot with Peter and with George and things in the hospitality centre, and then we did more and more functions, and I just... I don't know, I just loved it and decided that that's what I wanted to do. And then um, oh, one day I was talking to Peter about doing weddings or something, and it just, I don't know, it just got me excited, so... Yeah, and I worked at the hospital centre like on weekends and just loved it more. So, thought, why not pursue it? So what? Three years and uh, it'll be the. Uh, it'll be done. The Catherine Clark. Uh, <laughs> wedding planning institute. Uh, event management uh, institute or wedding planning institute. <laughs> Hopefully, I think I'll probably do like a masters or something yes. afterwards. But I think I have to get some workplace experience before I can do that. Yes. Okay. So, yeah, we'll see what happens. Is the course you're doing one that that um, allows you to take a semester getting uh, live work experience and so on? Yeah, so I get a certain amount of credit points and, like, depending on how many hours I do, so I can either go, say, overseas for six months and do placement or I can stay at the university and work at an events company or a now, hotel. You mentioned a little while ago something exciting like Disneyland. Disneyland Tell yeah. us about that. Well, it's an opportunity that the university offers, so I can go and um, work at Disneyland in America for six months and work in their like staging and music department, working for their events sector, which would be really cool. So I've got an interview for that and look at that next week. Wouldn't that be exciting? It would be amazing. So that would be overseas. part of your, your your second year, and you'd get a semester yeah. credit. So it would be I'd go in June next year and stay and like actually live at the Disneyland Resort for six months and then work for the company, and then that gives me, I think it's two subjects worth of credit or something. Wow. Mm. Saves me time, and it's not exciting, yeah. You could even earn some money and, uh, yeah, it's and paid you know, well. dress up as Minnie Mouse <laughs> or... Uh, one of the characters. One of the characters. Oh, that would be amazing. <laughs> be mm. fun. But that's, that's exciting. Mm. Um, you were also a, a, a leader in music while you were at school. Mm. Have you continued with that or do you want to continue with that? Uh, a little bit. I've, I should be doing more in terms of community music but I do um, some music over Christmas time with the Coral Institute Melbourne and I've looked into... Are you part things. of the uh, the group that sings carols at, uh, the, at the Crown? Yeah, on the staircase. Yes. Yeah, so, and we do some other things for the local um, Carols by Candlelights as well, which is really fun but I need to get back into flute and things like that. You hopefully. were a wonderful flute tape player, so uh, <laughs> hopefully you do get back into, uh, into a group. I need to find an orchestra. Mm. Now, it wasn't the last time I met you, but earlier in the year mm. I met you at, I think it was the, uh, the reunion. Oh, yeah. And you and... Um, oh, Casey. Casey. Told me how easy your transition to university had been. It had been. And so what I'd like to do is, is just ask you about that transition and what's the relationship between, if any, mm. between uh, your senior year's experience here and uh, going to university. uni. It's unbelievable how I went from one school experience where I was still independent but had some support and then went to uni and it was almost the same thing. It was just like 
I, a totally different environment because it's a different uni and different learning experience, but it was still the same and I could motivate myself and knew what I was supposed to do. And it was just insane to look at different students that had been from a school that had nothing in terms of developing their self-direction and then go like they had no idea how to find out lecture information or who to ask if something was wrong. It was just, it was different in the social environment, but figuring out how to support myself in a new place was not an issue at all, which was really good because going to uni was daunting in the first place, let alone having to figure out what I was supposed to be doing all the time. It was, yeah, it was really good. And obviously uh, your university's in the middle of the city? In Yeah, in Footscray. So right. it's a fair drive, but it was just the right place to go and it's kind of a smaller university in yes. terms of, say, like Melbourne or something, yeah. but it just doesn't seem to matter. It's It's got more... It's actually quite similar in its setup to Eltham yes. because of the structure of the actual university and the learning style, which is good because it was easier again, but... Yeah. Well, if you're going to uh, wanting to do event management, you've probably selected certainly the best course mm. in um, in uh, Victoria. Yeah, it was uh, the best one. It was either um, Vic Uni or La Trobe. Yes. But Vic Uni just had the better options in terms of placement. Yes. Say overseas and things. Yes. So that's why I was doing yeah. it. Oh, Disneyland would be really uh, be really exciting. exciting. <laughs> it would yeah, be. Yeah. We'll see. Now. Um, one of the things that, that we talk about a lot is collaboration and teaming. Mm -hmm. And you were telling me before about uh, having to work with, uh, with teams at university. A lot of people think that university and the workplace is about the individual person. Is it? Oh, not at all. At uni, I think nearly every single assignment is teamwork or group development or something. But it's good that in university I've found that they actually... One of my subjects is focused on actually teaching the skills to work in a team so it's good in that they're supplying you with kind of the professional skills you'll need once you once you actually leave so it is a lot it, there is some independent work but I think it's more focused on teamwork and actually being able to work with different people from totally different backgrounds every day which is hard but it's you kind of gradually get used to it and accept that everyone's just a bit different mm. yeah. your course would have a broader range mm. Of, um, of students, I, I talked with um, with Cameron Royce the other day, mm. and he's doing um, law at Monash, so really, he's looking at a very small yeah. proportion of the population. Mm. Um, but with your course, you'd be looking at a, a, a real range. spread of people with different backgrounds and yeah. ATAR scores. And exactly, and it's all different abilities and skills and because it's also in an area of, like, it's in Footscray, so it's actually, like, it's a lower socioeconomic area anyway, so it's just totally different, say, coming from working in an environment at school where everyone, like all my friends, had the same goal in getting... Yeah really good results all the time I'd go to uni and there's some people that want to do really well that are passionate like you and then there's others that kind of just want to pass and keep going through which is fine but you just have to adjust and realize that that's just a different goal and you all want to get to a different place okay which is good but yeah you yeah. get used to it do you mind sharing your at our school with us and what was it 80 85 85 yeah okay I forgot that for a second <laughs> now is that going to be important to you at any stage in your life? No, that's. I think that's why I forgot. I haven't. Yeah, I haven't yeah. actually answered that question since I got it. No. So I haven't yeah. used it other than to get into uni, and I didn't even need that to get into the course. But yeah, no, I haven't used it at all. Okay. Which is, I think it's interesting because although uni, you have to get certain, like you try to get certain marks to get, say, into an honours or a masters. Marks are not as focused. Like they're not as important. It's more like the professional skills and the things you're learning that actually make the difference for when you go into the future. You talked a little while ago about going on to a Masters. Mm. That must mean that, that you're getting reasonable results. Yeah, doing pretty well. did well on my exams last semester, Good. so I was pretty pleased with those. And, yeah, hopefully going into like a Masters of Business okay. Administration or something next. Let me just ask a, a, another quick question. Mm. Um, assessment. At, at university, you mentioned exams. Uh, exams, the the major form of assessment, or um, not really. It depends on the subjects. Like some of my business ones, exams are worth sixty percent of the mark, and then the other forty is generally an assignment, say worth twenty, and then smaller mid semester tests. But it's it's different. It's totally different to VCE. I mean, there's some things that there's gradual assessments, but 
everything's kind of worth more. So you do less tasks that are worth more, but you still get support, so it doesn't really yeah. make a difference. Okay. Exams are more important, but there's not as much pressure to get a perfect mark, which is good. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> now, how long were you at Elson? Oh, 13, 13 years. 13 yeah. years. So you started in ELC 4 or PrEP? PrEP, 1999. In, in PrEP. Mm. Okay. Long time. How would you describe your schooling experience? Uh, probably, oh gosh, supported and exciting and gave me the ability to kind of develop to what I wanted to be. Okay. Not always pushing me to something that really wasn't what I wanted to get to in the end. Okay. I talk a lot about the world out, outside mm. being in a constant state of transformation and schools having to be the same. Um, are you finding that you're dealing with, uh, with change? As in through university or just in general? Yeah, oh, of course. University and general. In, I think since leaving school, even just as a person, I've changed so much. Just from meeting new people in the place I work and going to uni, everything just affects you more. Like, I was obviously changing as I went through school, but it just kind of, by, as, as I changed through school, I kind of learnt how to cope with other people's differences and how to accept that to influence my life. And then now I've left, everything's just totally different. And I don't know, it's just helped me become a better person, I think. Oh, lovely. Which lovely. sounds really cliche. You, uh, but... you didn't need much work to become uh, <laughs> uh, better because you, uh, you, I think, have always made significant contributions. Oh, thank you. Catherine Clark, thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank you. <laughs>